Regular Baptist Church Builders has been serving the churches of the Rocky Mountain Association of Regular Baptist Churches for almost 60 years. Throughout those years, it has been a financial resource to help build new RMA RBC churches and upgrade existing churches. Our church is one of those. RBC provided the funds to construct our church in the 1960s and more recently provided a $40,000 loan to help us remodel the parsonage in preparation for selling it. With the proceeds, we were able to completely replace our parking lot, remodel the auditorium and remake our kitchen. The changes have been a major upgrade to our facilities. To my knowledge, this is a unique ministry among the state and regional associations connected with the GARBC. This revolving fund has provided grants and very low interest loans to nearly every church in our fellowship at one point or another. We started the church uh, in a daycare center up here and after a few years in the daycare center it just became difficult for them and for us and so we shopped for a building. Someone was really excited and said, hey, there's a building that we ought to go look at. It had a fire, it's right downtown. And um, they walked away from it because they're really discouraged. And so we came up and looked at it and it was really a mess, uh, dark and uh, burned out. And we were just amazed how all the church people thought this is it. And, um, but then we needed a down payment, and this is where uh, Baptist builders, regular Baptist builders came in, provided 12500 that we could use for the down payment. And we just were all rejoicing on what the Lord did, that He had us get into this building and then orchestrated and knew all the churches and the other people that would come in, even had a couple ripples where we ran out of money and then it came in the next day just to show that his fingerprints and his love was on the program. I presented to our deacons and, and trustees and, and then to the church family uh, a plan for making improvements to our building. Uh, we removed the, the old wood paneling and uh, updated the lights, electrical, uh, built a sound booth which we'd never had before. Uh, put in a new baptistry, which we praise the Lord for because we've had great use for it in the last few years. And At a certain point in that project, which we had cash flowed a, a significant portion of it, but it pretty much reached the place where we either needed to put the brakes on the project or find some funding. And at that point, we were looking at making some very necessary improvements to the building, functionally speaking. And so we replaced all the windows uh, updated them with new uh, energy efficient double pane windows and we added air conditioning. The air conditioning was about $30,000 and the windows were just over $20,000 and uh, the regular Baptist Church Builders loan allowed us to cover that portion of this this larger project. And so it's it's a place that is inviting and while you may not say that any of that has a direct effect on effectiveness of your gospel ministry, it has an enormous effect on the things that are communicated non-verbally to first-time guests. Even with the church family, you know, to have a place that is, that is functional and warm and inviting, it makes a difference. We had a spring storm, and so that means it's a wet storm. And uh, we, we were in, in a, a condition where that year, uh, when it was done, uh, we had standing on the roofs of most of the buildings in Denver, about four feet of snow. And so after it was done, I decided to come over here to the church building and just kind of see what, what happened and see, you know, hopefully nothing happened type of idea and just, you know, make sure our heaters were on and, and, and that type of thing. And all across the auditorium back here, uh, just everything cracked right down the middle uh, where the beams were. They weren't poking like through. You could see a beam, but you could see the cracks all the way through the sheetrock, everything. The whole length of the auditorium, front to back. And um, But it was through all of that that, of course, we our church has been, uh, um, I've been involved with uh, the regular Baptists in the, in the state. And uh, the fund, the, the Baptist Church Builders Fund, um, was... Uh, uh, talked about in different meetings and that. And uh, 
uh, as a church family, being able to present it to the church saying, look, this is really helping us. I mean, it's a loan that is, was way better as far as uh, interest rate than we could get anywhere else in a bank of any type, and which is the design of it is to, to help out and to be better, uh, you know, interest wise. And so with all of those types of things, uh, it was exciting to see how the people in the church responded and, and they were excited about that. And uh, the end of the story is, is that we were able to pay it off almost in half the time. The regular Baptist church builders uh, really helped our church in its early years. In fact, it was uh, probably fair to say that without their help, this church would have really struggled to have a building at all. Um, going back and talking with some people, I, I discovered that uh, what uh, is sometimes referred to as the lean years here at Mountain Shadows, uh, the RBCB tried to be really flexible with us. Um, at one point, there was zero interest um, and we were just making principal payments uh, and there's even uh, was some forgiveness on some of the principal. The, they were very generous with us in, in some really difficult years um, and so we, we couldn't be more grateful for what they've done for us. We'd like to invite you to partner with us in this ministry. You can give a one-time offering today. You can also give on a monthly basis. Thank you in advance for allowing God to use you to meet the needs of our Rocky Mountain Regular Baptist Churches.